absolutely adore you. Oh, well, thank you. I'm I... such a huge fan, so I'm kind of nervous. Oh, don't be nervous. I adore you, too. Well, and so thank you. Let's just adore each other. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And congratulations and, and welcome back and everything. Thank and you. I like your little outfit. Thank it's, you. it's all good. Thank you. You're all good. Okay, now what I heard that you had a, a, a resolution about your nails. Yes. What are you doing? Well, I'm gonna try and stop biting them because they're, as you can see, it's kind of down to the nub. So I've just started. It, like Seri I, seriously, when, like a minute ago? Yeah. When, <laughs> when's the last time you bit? <clears throat> uh, a couple of days ago. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, and that's growth from two days ago? Uh, yeah. That's not okay, right. Okay, maybe a day. Wow. It, I'm trying hours. to, I do the same thing. It's a horrible habit, isn't it? It's awful. Have you done it forever or you just, is this a as new thing? As long as I can remember. Really? Can, uh, yeah. And I've tried to stop numerous times and uh -huh. it doesn't ever work. So I'm trying this time. I don't normally make resolutions, but I'm, I'm going to try yeah. to stick with it. Well, you should, yeah, you should definitely try. You could wear mittens. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, to stop it. Yeah. Or there's that, that, that kind of nail polish that tastes horrible, but right. you know, I don't mind tastes of things. I don't know really? if that would work so well. When I was a kid, I sucked my thumb <laughs> way too long, like till I was like nine or something. That's bad. And it was bad. It can mess up your teeth too. I know, but it didn't. Somehow I didn't, uh, but, but somehow my, my brother and his friends put Tabasco on my thumb so that I, and it was horrible. Oh, that's a nightmare. I, it was so mean, and I, I guess I stopped then, but I hate Tabasco now. Oh. Yeah. I love Tabasco, that's a shame. Really? Yeah. You, you wouldn't if they would put it on your fingers, that's maybe. That's true. When you were a kid. Yeah, how old were you when they did that? I was about 20. Oh. <laughs> That, that no. really is, that really is cool. Yeah, that's too old. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. I was a nine or something like that. But, um, <coughs> so, um, so that, well, good, good luck to you. Yeah, thanks. Are you going to try to stick with it? I'm going to try as long as I can. I, I, <coughs> I sort of recognize every time I'm, my hands go up to my mouth and I, I then kind of bite my finger. Uh -huh. To try and stop. Oh, so, don't bite your finger. Well, I chew on it, and then I put my hand down. Well, now, did you wear stuff so Awful. that uh, in the the you could have fingers like that with the with the movie you did? For yeah, I had it in the film. Um, well, hold on, I, I'm gonna I, cough. <coughs> I want I don't want to cut you off, so I want to cough, and then you can talk. Oh, well, hold. That's... <coughs> All right, you talk. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I bit my nails while I was in New Zealand working on the movies, and I've been biting them, you know, ever since. And uh, so it's in the film. If you watch the movie, and there are these sort of tight shots of Frodo with the ring, you can see that uh, he has no nails. And they kind of just let it go, because they thought, well, you know, he's burdened by the ring, and maybe he'd bite his fingers. Uh, <laughs> he's burdened by the ring. Burdened by yeah. the ring. Maybe it's, it's, you know, the nervousness of that and having that evil uh, thing would uh, make him bite his fingernails. Yeah. He's a hobbit, you know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. No, no. It's, it's good background information uh, that, that all hobbits bite their nails. Maybe, it is, maybe it's a hobbit thing. Yeah. A it, hobbit it, habit. It's a bad hobbit. <laughs> it is a, and it's a hard hobbit to break. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. And uh, Ian McKellen was very impressed with the fact that I would allow my, my bad habit to be shown on camera. So he came up to me one day and he said, well, darling, I, I think it's, it's very good of you to, uh, to allow them to see your, your nails. Yeah. <laughs> In the way that they are. I would yeah. be incredibly embarrassed. Yeah. So, so he pointed I, I it got, out. Yeah, I got an applause from McKellen for being yeah. a, a true man and showing my imperfections. And by the way, it was a good impression of him. Rubbish. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was absolutely rubbish. It no, got worse as it went along. But no, that's no. All right, but thank you. I was impressed because you should see my impressions. They're really, really bad. Really? Yeah, they're bad. So, um, and your accent was so good, but you lived there for four years. On and off. I was there for 16 months with the principal photography, doing all three movies at one time. And then for the past three years, I've gone back every year to do, you know, post-production and additional footage and all that sort of stuff. And had you been to New Zealand before? I'd never been, no. It's, it's supposed to be beautiful. It's incredibly beautiful. Now, would you want to, that must have felt like home. Would you want to move there and live there, or? I, I've thought about it. I mean, I've certainly thought about getting property there. I mean, it, it has left such an imprint on all of our hearts. I mean, it, it really has become a second home to all of us. So I think a few of us are actually talking about getting land together. A few of the actors are talking about going in on our property and... You should. Yeah, it'll give us more incentive to visit more often as well right. and, and keep it in the families. So. Because it takes a long time to get there. Is it, the flight is what, a it's, week? It, well, <laughs> it's about 12 hours. Yep. It's a long flight. Yeah. It's surprising how, how easily you get used to 12 hour flights though. It became, you know, it became very easy. We'd get on the plane, fall asleep and wake up in New Zealand. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I couldn't do that. No? No, I wouldn't be able to sleep on a plane. No? 
No. You can't, well. No. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I don't like flying, but especially that long, it I would just be. And over the water, which makes me kind of nervous for some reason. And it's safer to fly over the water than land. But yet, I feel more nervous over the water. There's some something reason. wrong with all of us hurtling in the air in, in, in a tube anyway. I think that there's, there's it just is. something. It is. It's incredibly unnatural. Yes, we should be in, in wagon trains and whatever, <laughs> and, and horse and buggies. You know, we shouldn't be hurtling through the sky up in a, in a cylinder breathing in each other's air. That's, yeah. that's just my opinion. But, uh, and that's probably why I bite my nails. These are some of my thoughts. Yeah. Do you and, still bite your nails, by the way? Yeah, a little bit. Let's have a look. I was, I was supposed to get a manicure Monday, and He's I canceled it because there's nothing to manicure. <laughs> <laughs> but have you, have you graduated to toenail biting? What? <laughs> oh, you have so many cute girls that like you. Don't say that. <laughs> I did, yeah. yeah Don't say it's it. True. We'll edit that out. Okay. Um, Thanks. <laughs> I'm very no. flexible. It's easy for me to do. Yeah. No, you. Well, when you don't have anything here, where are you going to go? Uh, to a, I'm going to go to a commercial, is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go to a we'll be right back. We're back with Elijah Wood. So, so now, you, you uh, obviously, I mean, people are. are Fans like no other movie that I've even uh, that I can imagine. Th yeah. That well, probably Star Wars or something. But <clears throat> people line up forever waiting for for the movie to start, and yep. in every theater that it's sometimes opened. months ahead of time. I mean, in Sweden, I think there were like two months before the release they were lining up. That's just stupid. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, we all have our things, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. it's it's not going to open for two months. You want to be the first one in line? I guess so. Yeah. yeah. They're that excited. They have nothing. Maybe there's nothing no, else I, to do in Sweden. No. You know. I think it's great. If they're outside yeah. of Stockholm, maybe. Yeah, that's right. There, yeah. there, and there's probably, there's a reason. Um, <laughs> it's 04. I haven't gotten my bearings yet. Yeah, I haven't really either. Yeah. Um, so, but it, but that, so you meet. Oh, double deuce. Uh, deuce double O. Deuce. Double deuce. Yeah. 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 Double deuce. Double deuce. Yeah. Um, it's complicated. It isn't is. It? I'm yeah. gonna go with that. I mean, yeah. Go oh, with double that. Deuce. 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 Double, deuce, o, double O. Double deuce. Du double deuce. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be in a rap song soon. <laughs> it You'll sure see. will. Yeah, exactly. When we'll write it today. There you go. Yeah. Um, but so now, do you do you meet fans that are just like really crazy that think you're that character? Um, not so many adults think I'm that character. I get kids that think I'm that character, which mm -hmm. is fascinating. Mm -hmm. Um, I met like a five-year-old child. I was shocked that the five-year-old had actually seen the movie because I think these movies are kind of frightening for kids. Yeah. Uh, he came up to me and he had questions about my character's journey. And um, <laughs> he, he asked me if I was scared by the ring race and that when I was stabbed, if that hurt. Uh, and, and, you know, how the ring feels when you put it on, what's it like to disappear, and all these things. Wow. And so I just thought, well, I'll answer these questions uh, as if it were real. And he believed it was real. Wow. The, get rid of, those were my next few questions. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, listen, um, before you go, I, I know that we have, uh, your birthday is January 28th. Yes. Mine is January 26th. Yes, and a I, fellow Aquarius. Yes, and uh, so I don't know what you're doing, but I don't have any plans, so I thought we I could. I don't have any plans. Well, we should do something, like, together. Okay. Yeah. I what mean, do you want to do? I don't know, but we should, like, have a party or something and maybe... You know, I'm thinking you probably have a nice place, and, uh... We could do that. Yeah. You just got, um, you drink, don't you? I do. Yeah, yeah. I do. <laughs> I do. I, well, I drink... I drink yeah. booze and alcohol. Yeah. You drink both booze and alcohol? I do. It's, yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I'm a little crazy. What can I say? No, but if uh, if you don't have anything to do, we should do something. But, I think but, we should. But you just moved. You have an apartment. I have an in apartment New in New York. Okay. I just I just moved All my right. own my first own place. Congratulations. Thank you. That's going to be scary. It's it is. It's overwhelming. Yeah. It's overwhelming because I, I suddenly have a blank slate that I have to decorate and organize, yeah. and it's great because I can finally get myself organized because I feel like I've been disorganized for four years. Right. So now I can finally do it, but it's a little overwhelming. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you'll do a great job. That's I hope so. uh, and and it'll be fun to have your own apartment. Yeah. Oh, it's great. So congratulations. Thanks for being here. Thank and you. Uh, Lord of the Rings: Return of the King is in theaters everywhere. It's and the audience, organized. the audience today is getting the first, uh, the the two towers, uh, the, right? <laughs>